Don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris with the Knicks. Alright, so, not really late on this topic. I had to re-record this, because I put the file in HQ, high quality. And when it's high quality, you can't really, you know, send the file. And the charger that I had for this phone, it got weak, so now I can't upload the file to the computer. So I just had to re-record, <laughs> record it. All right, so my takes on this um, video that went viral of this girl that had the strip butt naked for a gram of weed. All right, so like I was saying, at first I thought maybe, I thought maybe, well, because uh, there was another video that saw where this girl got beat up and it was a bunch of dudes and girls you know i guess like recording it and beating her up because she supposedly stole like twenty dollars from this friend i was thinking that maybe it might be a situation where she is a thief known thief but she didn't steal that time she was innocent and maybe somebody in that room had stole it and just pinned it on her and they recorded because you got shady people that do shit like that but no um I looked at the video a little harder and seen other takes on it, but afterwards, listening to the video and putting two and two together, it wasn't about no, um, it wasn't about no weed, it was about sex, because how is one dime, one bag, one gram of weed going to hold, going to get 15 people high, it was about like 10 boys and like 4 girls in there, or or 15, 14, 15 people. No, if you, you, if you can hear in the back, the dude, that was, I guess he was filling her at some Airbnb party and he told her when, they was, when she was stripping, he said, dang, you came in a thong and you couldn't give me no pussy at the Airbnb, the fuck? And then when her wig, when they, she took her wig off, the other nigga was saying, oh, she ain't that bad. I thought she was fire. Um, first of all, half the girls in there got weaves on. Second of all, they all got the same body type. So what's different from her than the other chicks that was beating her up? You know, and ain't none of them a uh, fire. If you want to, you know, get technical, they look like a bunch of dusty, <laughs> dusty ass niggas. <laughs> you ain't that cute. You look dusty. <laughs> um, so. I think what the thing about it was that them other three girls was a type of freaky uh, girls or like them guys weren't trains on them in that house. You know, the one girl probably got uh, all three of her holes filled up, if you know what I mean, mostly testing, or the other two um, blowing two to three guys off at the time, or you see in a circle and they all um, taking turns, you know. Cause it was a lot of guys it was like 10 guys and four girls and i think that girl she was the type of girl like you know no nah, i'm not about that life and the dude that uh, made that airbnb comment he was probably the one that was like you know what if we're not smashing her we're not smashing none of y'all so then those other girls got frustrated and started taking out on her beating her up her so-called friends you know dang with friends like that you ain't got no enemies you know, a lot of people on some friend of me flow. One minute they cool with you, next minute you doing good, or you ain't doing something that they want, they hate you. You know, that's why you gotta keep your circle small. You gotta know who you, you gotta know who you messing with. Cause some people they like, you know, they can't really function without negativity. And some people have nothing to lose. And when you hang around people who ain't got nothing to lose, you end up losing everything you work for because they they mooching off you. You know, they trying to live off you or, you know, and then when they start doing good, then they, they, they don't need you no more. I, I don't, I don't babysit freeloaders. I don't hang around freeloaders. If you, if you ain't trying to help me grow, if you're not trying to help me, um, get bigger, just like if, you know, like I help you, you help me, you help, you, you help me, I help you. If we ain't doing that, if it's one-sided, we ain't got no business 
If it ain't nothing about that, if it's one-sided, we ain't got no business being in contact, point blank. You know, you got to hang out with people who have the same motives as you. Yeah, you can hang out, chill, but, you know, they also you know, help you, like I said, grow, do good, do good in life, and so forth and so forth. You know, if it ain't about business, we ain't trying to help one another. Um, we have no business being in contact, point blank. And, 2000, and at the end of 2017, I had that mindset and I started sweeping out people. Ain't no lurking on my page. Ain't no lurking in my life. You don't like me, <laughs> you shouldn't, uh, like I said, have no, no contact with me. Don't care if we childhood friends when we see each other since high school, college, work, whatever. Fuck it. You know, I can do bad by myself. You know, so that's why I'm always very keen on people. You know, oh, you talk about fake friends. Oh, you talk about this. You talk about that. Well, this is a perfect example of why I talk about what I talk about. You know, because, you know, like I said, when you hang around people who have nothing to lose, you end up losing everything you worked for. Whether it's big, small, you know, or your life. Because, you know, you can't end up taking care of people like that. Something bad happened to you, you know, trying to take care of them. They're going to keep doing what they do. They're going to keep going on by their merry way. So, we're going to let this video be a lesson learned. And the thing that's sad about me, this was posted on Martha Luther King's birthday. And then the girl in there talking about, oh, if you say something, we're going to beat your ass. We know where you stay. And bitch is on camera. It's on camera. You posted it. Like, how stupid can you be? You know, like how, you know, I hope all of them go to jail. I haven't heard nothing, I haven't heard nothing since the video was posted, but I hope all of them go to jail. Just straight up. You know, this is disgusting. No does mean no. If she wasn't that type of chick, live with it. That's what you got hoes for. Yeah. Can't turn everybody to a hoe. Everybody ain't about their life. You know, some, you know, some girls is like that, you know. They were, you know, they let the whole, the whole crew hit, and then some of them, and some are not like that. So, you know, you have three girls, one of them didn't want to do that, you know, stay there. And for all y'all, let this be a lesson learned. You can't, like I said, you can't hang around uh, nobody's. If you're not a hoe, if you're not in no hoe activity, don't hang around no hoes. Because they're going to try to evolve you in that too. Not always, but in this generation, kind of, you know. Always be careful of the company you keep. Anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave a comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the X on some real ish. Peace.